everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Brugly channel. It's me, Brugly, and today I bring you a new backrooms level that just got discovered called the Red Light District, or level 11.3. Now this sublevel was just now found to exist somewhere near the original level 11, and it is creepy and cryptic and extremely dangerous, so uh, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the video, shall we? Backrooms level 11.3, or the Red Light District, is classified as a class 5 difficulty and is very unsafe and unsecure, and it is infested with entities. But not the normal ones, I'll tell you about it in a few minutes. But it's always good when a level starts out that way, isn't it? This level is a dark and sinister and cryptic corrupt cityscape that's thought to be located somewhere near the regular level 11. The level itself looks like a huge city with a creepy red glow coming from the sky. Even the actual air itself in this level is toxic, and it can lead to visual and audio hallucinations. The middle of the city has tall skyscrapers and bridges, and the outside of the city has warehouses and apartment buildings and other private areas, all of which are abandoned. And the deeper you go into the level, the denser and more convoluted and confusing the concrete maze of buildings becomes. And this maze of buildings can be extremely confusing because, you know, the air is toxic and the streets are like a maze and entities are swarming you. All this adds up to a pretty confusing level. But trust me when I say that it gets worse. The weather and the temperature of this level can range anywhere from being sweaty and muggy to being freezing and snowing in just just a few minutes. That's right, it can go from literally 100 degrees to like 20 degrees. During the snowstorms and heat waves, there is sometimes red lightning that strikes in the distance over the city. This sudden change in weather and the lightning can also be very dangerous if you stay out in it for too long. Now so far, every building that's been searched into has been completely empty and barren. Almost like it's been picked through already before, so no one knows if there was once any people living here, or if it's just been taken over by others already. But as far as we know, the level just got discovered, so. Now as I said in the beginning, this level is infested with entities, but it's mainly just one single entity called the Servants. Now, these Servants are semi-humanoid creatures creatures that have ashy dark skin with red colored eyes. They seem to have some kind of social class system where some are dressed better than others and some are less aggressive than others, some live in better buildings than others, but the servants are called the servants because they serve a more powerful race of entity called the ambassadors, which I'm going to make an entire entity short on, but pretty much the ambassadors are these sentient floating alien-like cubes that are very, very old and smart, and they can control things in very strange ways. Like, these things go deep into the history of the backrooms, and they seem to have been there since the existence of it, and they control the servant entities here. Most of the servants here are not instantly aggressive when they see a person, but if you get in their way or you make them mad or something, then yeah, they're gonna get mad and they're probably gonna chase you. And when they do get angry, they will try to lure you or chase you and corner you into a dark alleyway and trap you there. And when you're stuck in this alleyway, they use your fear and your paranoia to harm you into being so scared that you can't move. And once you're that scared, they'll then attack and they'll restrain you. But they won't fully unalive you, in fact, they will take you somewhere alive. No one knows where it is, but the wiki.entry literally says, quote, Do not be taken alive, end quote. Maybe they take humans and transform them into whatever they are, or something like that. Either way, it's pretty terrifying to think what they do to people who they capture. There's a recovered audio log on the entry that might give some clues onto what the servants do with people or what they even are. So go check that out if you're interested. It's pretty cool. And in the audio, there is an ambassador entity that talks to the person and it says, you have two options. You can pledge loyalty and serve, or you can try to resist and be enslaved as a mindless tool for eternity. So I'm pretty sure I was right about them capturing humans. It seems like the ambassadors capture people and turn them into these servants to do their bidding for them 
pretty creepy stuff. It's kind of like doomsday in a way. There's also been really weird books found in this level that talk about a huge thing called the red capital, which apparently is a red rot type of substance that is a curse to all upcoming civilizations. The books also talk a lot about the ancient civilizations of the back rooms and the people that have been here forever, and they show pictures of very weird architecture and people worshipping the ambassadors. Just a ton of really weird, creepy, cryptic stuff. The ambassador cube entities I mentioned earlier seem to go to this one specific building deep into the maze of skyscrapers here. The building has been nicknamed the Embassy, and it's heavily defended by servants, so no one knows what goes on inside of it. All that's known is that a weird hum comes out of it. So this is the back rooms. None of it makes sense. And that's exactly why it's amazing. To enter this level, you can come from level 11, the regular one, by walking to the outskirts of the city and no clipping into a dark alleyway. Or you can find anything that's a little more red than normal in level 11 and no clip through it. To exit, you have to run as far away from the center of the city as possible until you find some sort of bridge that goes over the water. And these bridges are said to lead back to the regular level 11, but there are tons of servants guarding them, so, uh, good luck! That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. This level is really, like, really cool, and I think you should go read the entry on the wiki dot if you haven't already. I extremely enjoy cryptic stuff like this. Stuff that makes no sense. Stuff that's just so dark and secretive. That's the best part of the backrooms to me, and this level does that so well. So thank you all for watching and supporting. Make sure to go below, check out all the links you need, and make sure to check out my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly, if you want more content from me. And comment Comment the keyword red brugly if you've made it this far to the video and if you comment that i'm gonna leave a like on your comment because you're a real one i haven't mentioned it in a while but if you've forgotten or if you're new here at 500,000 subscribers i'm gonna be buying the full backrooms outfit so this is an outfit of pants a shirt a hat socks and it all has the backrooms wallpaper on it and when i hit 500,000 subscribers i'm gonna buy it all i'm gonna make videos in it i'm gonna do a photo shoot in it i'm gonna go out in public in it and it's gonna be this huge ordeal and once we get to 500k i'm gonna announce what i'm gonna do at a million so help me get to 500k by subscribing tell your friends tell your family help me get there let's push for it thank you all so much for your support and i'll see you later